The Archbishop has sent his council and top fundraising aid to Rome to educate those around the world who want to help. He's speaking at a conference organized by the group Aid to the Church in Need in Rome. Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Parolin and Louis Sacco, the Patriarch of the Chaldean Catholics, also addressed the conference. Stephen Rasha joins us now from Rome. He is on the Nineveh Reconstruction Committee and spends most of his time in Iraq. Welcome to the program. You were our guide when we were there in April, and it's great to see you over the airwaves. It's a pleasure to be here, Lauren. So why are you in Rome? What support are you seeking from the church? So I, I'm here as part of a, uh, a, a conference that was organized by Aid to the Church in Need uh, about the future of uh, uh, restoration for the Christian communities on the Nineveh Plain. Uh, the majority of the uh, uh, Christian refugees from ISIS were from the Nineveh Plain. And the purpose of this conference is to uh, uh, educate our, our potential funders, uh, including uh, the representatives from uh, many of the uh, foreign embassies here in Rome and the Vatican. Uh, uh, regarding the situation. Well, here in the United States, there's a bill in Congress that uh, you know about. You've testified on committees to help push it through to provide that aid. What is your message to lawmakers here, especially in the Senate, who are considering it right now? We needed this bill almost a year ago when I first testified on it, and uh, the, uh, especially with the situation regarding the, the Kurdish referendum, uh, the, uh, the sustainability and the viability of these Christian communities in Nineveh is, is really in, in absolute peril. And without uh, H.R. 390 and uh, other similar types of efforts, uh, this whole thing uh, uh, could be a closed chapter pretty soon. We just talked to your boss, Archbishop Warda, who is also trying as hard as he can to keep Christians in the area and is also doing a, a lot of uh, work with hospitals and with schools. How frustrating is it for you to not be able to get this funding to continue to do this good work? Well, it's enormously frustrating, Lauren. Uh, you know, we've had uh, all sorts of uh, supportive words uh, from people across the spectrum in the U.S. government for a long time now, but nothing concrete uh, at all. And we really are out of time. H.R. 390 uh, helps us get this project uh, in terms of returning the Christians to Nineveh. It helps us get this really moving in a meaningful way. Uh, it's not a complicated thing at, at, this, uh, at this point. And it's, it's enormously frustrating for us. Well, we thank you for the update, the fundraising update. Uh, I hope you are able to get back to Iraq to continue your important work. Stephen Rasha from the Nineveh Reconstruction Committee. Thank you, Lauren.